Well, let's get this um, trash fire on the road. So, hi, I'm Shep, and welcome to a PowerPoint stream. Actually, usually I would just have a camera on, but um, this mo um, this manga I only own, and I would have a physical copy of the manga, but this one I only own digitally, so this is what we get. So... Again, I'm Chef. I do manga reviews. Um, I figured I'd do them live on Mixer, which is probably a horrible idea because sometimes I stutter, but I figured I'd do this Mixer thing. And today we're gonna stu uh, today we're gonna review um, I Married My Best Friend to Shut My Parents Up by Kodoma Naoko. That's a hell of a title. Um, I was originally gonna title this review um, uh, Shep reviews Chuck and Larry Yuri edition, but um, that was probably not a good idea. So, this manga. It's about Morimoto, uh, oh, excuse me, Morimoto Machi, a dedicated salary woman with no interest in romance, who's continually uh, pressured by her traditional parents to have kids. Um, all right, why is it not flipping slides? Because I'm boomering this already, like I did um, with my first time I streamed on Mixer. That's okay. Anyways. So, to get them to shut up, she marries her best friend, um, uh, Gaia Hana, who also happens to be lesbian. Who also in high school confessed to Machi, but was rebuffed because um, Machi, um, Machi claims to have no interest in romance. But they have a dilemma. Hana needs a place to live. Because poor, starving artist. Margie needs her parents to back off because they keep on harassing her. Why aren't you married? Why haven't you found a man yet? Oh. Um, we want the we want kids, damn it. So by uh, the two of them marrying, um, even though it nukes uh nukes machi's relationship with her parents it accomplishes the goal of shutting them up and hannah's not out on the street so it's a win-win however um machi and rightly so uh, thinks hana has ulterior motives again um hana ha had a crush on machi in high school and uh duh, um is lesbian so not um this is kind of what Honda wanted all along except with um except it's all fake or at least it seems fake so why well, Machi adjusts to living with uh, excuse me while well, Machi finds adjusting to um living with Honda difficult um she also has to deal with her co-workers talking about their personal lives so oh, how how I wish um someone was there for me when I get home um me, um, oh, I just moved in with my girlfriend, etc., etc. So, Hannah, between works, um, between work stuff as she's being a workaholic, and um, dealing with Hana, continuing, continuing trying to make this real, um, she gets a little bit frustrated. But as time goes on, uh. Machi actually starts to fall for uh, Machi starts to actually fall for Hana, but Hana, realizing Machi's probably not really into me, goes and gets completely smashed drinking with one of her ex exes. Smashed as in drunk, not smashed as in the other meaning of smashed. Um, however, um, the, um, however, um. Hannah kind of passes out before anything happens, and um, Machi, of course, is now that she's developing feelings, is there immediately to uh, gather her drunk wife. Eventually, um, as the story continues on, eventually Hannah re um, has a successful project, regains full financial stability, and is ready to move out, but Machi decides... Well, maybe I really don't want to to move out. And goes full sundere. And you never want to go full sundere. Especially when um Hana sniffs it out immediately. Um and says, Oh, 
You don't want me to move for no reason, huh? How about you tell me the real reason? Oh, you say you actually like me? Prove it. And first base happens. Actually, nothing real, uh, nothing that explicit happens in this manga. It's joked about, but uh, it's joked about or implied, but nothing. In, but nothing is shown. It's all left to the imagination. So, but we'll use the baseball metaphor anyway. However, uh, first base happens. Um, but before the uh, before the relationship is fully consummated. They say they decide to take things slow with Hana pointing out, well, we have all the time in the world. We're married after all. Um, and the two pretty much live happily ever after. As Billy Bean taught us in Moneyball, as long as you don't, don't get out, you still have a chance to score. And that's the end of the main plot, but wait, there's more. They, um, to pad out the book, um, the author includes a story from Machi and Hana's time in high school when ha Hana first falls in love with Machi, which is uh, which is real cute. Um, um, doesn't and it kind of it serves as a prequel to kind of set up their existing friendship, you know, friendship that which may or may not have romantic feelings, even though Machi rebuffs any. Um, Machi is completely focused on getting ahead, partially because of parental pressure. And you think, oh, that's cute. That should be the end of it. No, wait, there's more. They go to, um, uh, they show, uh, the author has a story about them finally going on their honeymoon to a hot spring. Except it's not, as you can see, it's not quite how Hannah imagines it. So, that's that. So, here's the actual review. It's cute. The alt's pretty good. It's a good mix of romance, comedy, and drama. Um, it touches on the conflict between Japanese traditional values, um, Machi's family's real tradition, uh, real traditional, um, very traditional, but Japanese work culture, you work, you work yourself to the bone, so... Machi wants to get ahead, so she doesn't really have time for romance, creating the core conflict, which is solved by marrying Hana. Um, it's cute, again. It's not porn, but it does a good job of leaving stuff to the imagination. So if you're into that, um, it's there. Oh, again, it, it's cute. That's pretty much why I bought it on Amazon. Um, it's cute. What more do you want? Read it. Um, overall, I'm going to give it about a 4 out of 5. So, that's that review. I know it's a short, short stream, but I'll be back in um, just about 30... Um, I'm going to kill the stream, so um, I can also kill the recording. Um, this will get posted to YouTube if you came in in the middle of it at some point. Um... And then I'm gonna fire up another. I'm gonna fire up another streaming in. I'll have something that's kind of sort of a manga. Review that. Hopefully not get banned for anything. Um. And then after that, um, I'll be over on Winning the War in Pants. Um, streaming some Tales of Viseria. Until I pass out from exhaustion. Alrighty. See you in a couple of minutes, y'all.